So off you go again. No pain, no gain. I have to keep the ball rolling. I will miss you. I know. Yeah. All right. Oh, am I forgetting anything? No, no. Just something. What's that? I need a little bit of magic for you. Okay. <laughs> That's why I have you, baby. Mm -hmm. You're the best. <laughs> you too. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. The harvesters left behind. Perhaps someone will be kind to allow me gather any stocks that remains. <laughs> and then Ruth said no, she wasn't going back. Um, baby, just relax, okay? Don't move. Pretty daughter. Oh, look at you. Can you sing?
Did they touch you? No, 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 they didn't. What about Erica? She's fine. They made away with some of the jewelries I sell and 150,000. Have you reported to the police? No, I haven't. It's alright. Just calm down and do that first thing tomorrow morning. Okay, I will. Insist on talking to the DPO. I miss you. We miss you too. Right now, I am in Amsterdam. Okay. You have to say hello. Hello, Dad. Okay, Dad. Bye bye. Divisional Crime Officer, Mr. Abel. The DPO is not around. As you can see, we are your friends. Was there anything familiar about them? No. But their actions seemed premeditated. They asked me of the money and the jewelries. Does anybody know about the jewelries or the cash in the house? Yes, my husband. Your husband? That's interesting. Mm, listen, officer, you can't suspect my husband because he's in far away Amsterdam. Do you have a picture of the stolen jewelries? Yes, I, I do. Okay, bring it to us. My men will be going round the jewelry shops around your town to see if they will find them. Alright. Do you have a gate man? Of course, I, I do. Where was he during the hast? He was... He was tied like a bundle of fire just behind the house. Where is he now? He's at my house. Wow. Well, we will come and take a look. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. It's alright. Thank you so much for your time. It's okay. I, I, all I remember is that my daughter and I were sitting right on this couch. I was actually telling her a bedtime story. And then I heard this bang noise from the backyard. So I asked her to stay calm here while I go out and check. When I got out, I saw two armed men right beside the bathroom. They actually pointed a gun at me down to this point. Then they asked me where the money and the jewels were. I said I didn't know what they were talking about and one of them gave me a slap. God. So I said the money and the jewelries were upstairs. One actually went up to get the money and the jewelries while the other one was here with my daughter and myself. Then he came down with the money and the jewelries and they went back again through the same roof, the backyard. I just don't know how they got in.
Yes, who is it? Yeah, good afternoon. Afternoon, how can I help you? Yeah, we want to see Madame. Madame? Yeah. Why? And we have some products to deliver to her. Some products? Yeah. It's okay.
do something. Mm, two robbery attacks in one week. No. Calm down, please. We're here to serve and protect you with integrity. Listen, all I ask is to be reassured that my life and property is safe. That is, that is all I want. But my face. I will post some of my men temporarily to your house. After you.
how did you enjoy your shopping today? Did you have fun? Yes, mom. <laughs> I saw you looking at all those biscuits. You have sweet things. <laughs> when is daddy coming back? Oh, you're missing him already. Yes. <laughs> very soon. He'll be back very soon. And guess what? Yes. He'll buy you lots and lots of chocolates. <laughs> I knew you were going to smile. I said you are sweet things. <laughs> I've been telling. How are you, Eve? Who's this? Let's say I'm your worst nightmare. I'm involved in all the harrowing experience you've gone through. Well, what do you want? Right question. I want five million naira cash. Holy Moses! What for? As an insurance for your life. <laughs> My life? Listen, only God has the right to take my life, okay? <laughs> the omnipotent and all-seeing one who watches over every step we make, right? I'm not here to talk about religious belief. I'm talking about the cat and mouse game we've been playing, okay? Listen, listen, you're creeping me out. Stop doing this, okay? 
Stop. I'll call you on where and how to drop the money. No policemen involved. You got that? Five million naira cash. Not! I will not! Listen! Hello? Hello? You don't disturb me. Yes. Yes, dear. I think we're in the middle of a dangerous game here. Something is wrong. This is getting out of hand. Five million naira on your life. That was exactly what he said. You have to be on your guard always. You must move around with a police escort. You and your daughter. But Jack has always been with me. He has to go undercover. From henceforth, he will be in Mufti and his gun will be ready to shoot to kill if necessary. This is why I do appreciate it. I'm grateful. I must comment your will of steel. Most women would have broken down with such harassment. But here you are, almost unfazed. How can I say? I'm scared. Really scared. But I have to be strong for my daughter. That's the spirit. You've revived my confidence in the police force. And I'm so grateful. It's alright. I'm just doing my duty. So have a nice day. Thank you. Okay. Let's go in. Gone on the cover so fast to serve and to protect is a watchword. <laughs> Hello, I warned you. Who's this? I said no police, but you wouldn't listen. Huh? Listen, listen, you can go to hell for all I care, okay? Just go to hell. What is that? Oh, it's nothing. Nothing serious. Nothing important.
you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hi, ah. officers. Uh, you must be the policeman guarding my wife, right? They will know you, sir. I am Mr. Collins, as in Wapata, the owner of this residence. Any form of identification? Sure. Sure, you know. <laughs> my past. Actually, I'm just coming back from a trip. I, I hope everything is fine. Oh? Huh? Well, sorry, when it comes to homicide, we need to be very thorough. Homicide? Yeah. Where is my wife and daughter? Sir, your wife's body was found three days ago on the street. You must be kidding. Eve, tell me you're joking. Sorry, sir. I advise you see DCO Abo of Area Command Police Station. Someone has gone nuts somewhere. Where is my daughter? So I still advise and suggest that you see this you able. You said your man was with them? Yes, my man was shot in the leg. From the statement he made, he was sort of left alive to witness the adoption. The next morning, your wife's body was found dot at the roadside. Yes. 
seal. Are you sure the cups you found is my wife's? I saw it myself. But look, I've come to the morgue and we confirm. One for Eve. What? Oh. See, there is more to this than this. Why two robbers? And later, a demand of five million naira. I, I don't understand what you're saying. Ten days after you traveled, the robbery started. A five million naira ransom was requested in exchange for your wife's life. And an officer was shot. Your wife's body surfaces the next morning. Your daughter's were about unknown. But the question is, what has vicious men got to do with your wife? This year, what are you insinuating? Mr. Collins, how well do you know your wife? What had she got to do with the men of the underworld? This year, I don't care what you're trying to say. My wife is dead. The question should be, where is my daughter, Erica? Where is she? The police is doing its duty with its investigation. We've declared her missing. But I still want you to think about the question I asked you. My cop instinct tells me that there is more to this than meets the eye. It's your job to find out. Find out who did this! I will.
You're welcome, BC. Thank you. Are you sure you took the right decision when you asked us to withdraw the police officers guiding your house? Yes. I'm okay this way. Any new development? Did your wife have any business partner in South Africa? Eve was a housewife. The only business she did was to sell jewelries that I buy each time I travel abroad. Do you have any business transaction in South Africa? No. Why do you ask? Look at this. Your wife transferred over 20 million rand to an account in South Africa within the space of four months. A few weeks at about the time the first robbery took place, she withdrew 8 million, paid in presumably from the same account from South Africa. But unfortunately for us, the account is a coded account. All these sound bizarre and fantastic to me. 20 million rands? 8 million naira? Our banker gave us the information based on the phone call you gave to him to cooperate with us. This you. I'm confused. There are so many questions unanswered, and I need answers to them and fast. We are trying our best, Mr. Collins. Any news about Erica? Nothing yet. But my men and I are walking around the club, at least to ascertain whether she's alive or dead. No. My daughter can't be dead. Let's keep an open mind and prepare for the worst. The investigation continues. This whole investigation thing is truly really going at snail's pace, man. I just don't understand. I don't care whatever financial transaction Eve was having. What I care is that she went to the police for protection and they failed her. So. What exactly did they tell you at the station? 
Nothing tangible. Just the normal jargon that the long arm of the law will catch up with the culprits. Aren't nonsense! Calm down. Nonsense! Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I, uh, I understand the way you feel, okay, but you must remember one thing. Little strokes fell great oaks, and all things come to those who wait, okay? I mean, I, I know that you, you lost your parents at a very early age and that made you, you know, go into early marriage, but just try to be strong, okay? Just keep it up. Lost time can never be found. I know. But never say die. Up, man, and try, okay? Be strong. So, uh, any idea what to do? <clears throat> To be frank with you, Eric, I feel so helpless. It's as if I am falling into a bottomless pit with me kicking and waving blindly and fruitlessly to stop the fall. Hmm. Collins. Let's follow the river, and we'll find the sea. Trust me. College. Yeah? May I know you? Just call me the Nameless One. Okay, Nameless One. How can I help you? You've been looking for your wife's mother. It's been on the news. And the investigation is on. What if I tell you that your wife might still be alive? After all. What mumbo jumbo are you talking about? Huh? Hope is the last thing a man loses, my friend. And in this game, it is the more you look, the less you see. Look, whatever you call your name. Nameless one. Nameless one. I don't care what you say. I buried my wife last week. Let the dead remain buried. Do you understand? I want you to believe me, Mr. Collins. A whole lot of strange things go on in this country. And those who have eyes do not see. Those who know don't speak. How much do you want from me? <laughs> How much? Yes! How much? My wife was blackmailed before she was mothered. I can smell the same pattern of play being played out again. I don't have much time with you, Mr. Collins. As I am talking to you now, I'm on the run. But I feel I should just let you see beyond your nose. The only thing that my nose smells now is foul play. You're dead right, man. Foul play. You can find me in restaurants.
world has gone nuts. <laughs> Not today. I don't know if today, I don't think. <laughs> A nutcase called me this morning yeah. to say that my wife might still be alive. Are you serious? <laughs> I mean, it's funny. It's funny because the last time I heard this sort of thing was uh, Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. It beats my imagination. Why? All of a sudden, I find myself surrounded by injuries. I'm not sure of anything. I don't even know who I am any longer. Collins, to tell you the truth, I I feel spooked by all these things happening around you. I mean, the, the police have come to a dead end with the investigation and... I don't know, I don't know, I just don't know, man. I don't. to suppress it but I can't hold it down any longer what is it what was Eve into what skeleton did she have in her cupboard that I never knew about Do I really know the woman I married? <sighs> My daughter is missing. And then, the spooky phone call that she is still alive. Collins, I think we need a private detective. Thinking along that line too. Do you have anyone in mind? Mm, yes, yes. His name is Smart. Smart. This is smart. No, I'm not busy. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay.
heard all you said. Was your wife sleeping around? What? What did you say? Who the hell are you to ask about my wife like that? Collins, calm down now, please. Eric, who is this joke? Collins, calm down now, please. Please. Why are you doing this? That was just an innocent question. Be careful what you say about my wife. You're paying me to do a job for you. And if you won't dance to my tune, I'll take a walk. Walk! Walk! Who cares? Hey, hey, hey. Mark, 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 Mark. Mark, please. What's please. that? Take it easy now, please, please, okay? You are a professional, all right? Don't make sentiments with business, please. He's the one being sentimental know. here. Smart, I know, okay? Please, just, just take it easy, man. All right? Come on. Come on, what's your problem now? Calm down, okay? We need smart, all right? He is a good detective, okay? Come on, take it easy, man. Relax. You better be what he says you are. Here. This is 200,000 naira. The advance payment you requested for. Now you've got me interested in this case. Mr. Collins, who is your number one enemy? Everyone has enemies, but known and unknown. Let's talk about the known. Tunji. Tunji Adeyemi. Why Tunji? My wife once sold jewelries to him. He declined to pay. They got into a hot altercation. I was called in and he said that if my wife is not careful, she might lose her life. Really? Yes. And did you tell the police about that? No never crossed my mind. Where does this um, so-called Mr. Tunji reside? I don't know. But he has an office at number 16 Independence Avenue. 16 Independence Avenue. I'll pay him a visit. I sure will. I'll get him. I'll shop at him opposite. Eric. I don't trust that guy. <laughs> Come on, relax, man. Relax, okay? Relax, man. A bad beginning, they say, makes a good ending. Okay? You say your name is Smart? Yes, Mr. Smart. You're welcome. Let's make it snappy. I'm a very busy person. Do you know one Mrs. Eve as a Wapata? Eve as a Wapata? I don't think so. Think well, sir. She sells jewelries, and you used to buy jewelries from her. Oh, yes, I remember. I haven't seen her in a long time. How is she? She's dead. Ridiculous. What happened? When? Her husband told me that you once told him that if his wife is not careful, 
that he is going to lose her. Come on, smart. Everybody makes a threat to somebody. Really? Have you ever used language? I will kill you. I have. And how many times have you carried out that threat? Ah, I see your point. Smart, if there's anything I will do to aid investigation, I'll gladly do it. If it wasn't all that bad, we only had a breakdown in communication. I see. I can see you're really a busy man. But I'll get back to you. I am. Thank you so much. You're welcome anytime. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye bye. Wow. Wow. One really has to be careful the words he uses. I was with Tunji Adehimi this afternoon. What did you find out? The man is clean. Clean? How do you know? I've been in this business for 11 years now. And I can smell a fake from miles away and vice versa. Mr. Tunji Adeyemi is speak and spam. Everybody is guilty until proven innocent. You tell me that. I'm on tenterhooks concerning my daughter's whereabouts. Do you understand? We're digging. Dig deeper. Let's follow the river. We'll get to the sea. Oh, please. I've heard that so many times. Let's follow the river and we'll get to the sea. Hope you don't miss your boot. If we solve the mystery surrounding your wife, I believe we'll fix your daughter's case. Well, just play it cool, okay? Please play it cool.
of the investigation. Which investigation? Your wife and your little daughter. Whoever you are, you can't scare me. Go to hell! You are warned. Go to hell! Who was that last night? You know about the phone call? Phone call my foot! Who dragged me home? Someone followed me home last night. I don't know what you're talking about. For three days now, someone has been shadowing me, watching my back for me. What has that got to do with me? Listen. If you give me a job to do for you, you better let me do it. Okay? You don't have to send people sniffing around me. Stop this hula baloo! Hula baloo what? If you don't trust me, friend, I have other fish to fry. And if you don't trust me, you better get yourself another detective. The moments we want to believe something. We suddenly see the argument for it and become blind to the argument against it. I sent no body to shadow you. Period. So who would be? I got a phone call early this morning. The tone of the voice was threatening. I was asked to call off this investigation. So did you get the number? The caller ID was withheld. I think someone somewhere is becoming uncomfortable. We have to be on our guards. After or now? Can I ask you one question? What? Did you see your wife's body before she was buried? Yes. Why do you ask? Because I'm exploring the theory of your wife being alive. I'll follow the river to find the sea. Look at him. He must be for that way to make it. 
you give him. He must pay. Rossi. Reaching our news desk confirms the body of the area controller of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Alahaji Nasir Ibrahim, was found this afternoon lying beside his car. He was shot and he's confirmed dead. The police have started their investigation and we will keep you informed. Don't go away. This city is becoming violent. God help us. God help us.
Who is that? Get the gate. Who is that? The police. Good morning, DC. Good morning. The search warrant to search your house. Has it got to do with the case at hand? Maybe. But please comply with us. Of course, I will. This way, please. going on here? Am I being investigated? I can't answer that question. Can we go to the kitchen? Okay, the kitchen. This way.
How can you explain this, Mr. Collins? This is incredible! How did the girl get in here? I don't have a girl! It is not mine! This CEO has been set up! My God. You tell me that when we get to the station. This is... What is going on here? What? How did this go and get... I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Mr. Collins, how do you explain this to me? <laughs> no way. No way. I'm, I'm dreaming. I'm, what, what is this? It, it is not mine. It's not mine. I don't. I don't, I don't deal with such things. Like I said before, I've been set up. Arrest me. Why don't you want to cooperate with us? This you. Like I said, I've been set up. Can't you see? Someone is trying to get me out of the way. Why should I believe you? You've been investigating my wife's death and my daughter's disappearance. That's why. That's immaterial. In this case, everybody's a suspect. A phone call. What phone call? I got a phone call a few days ago warning me to cancel all investigation concerning this case. And you never reported to the police? I lost faith in the police. Well, I contracted a private detective. You lost faith in the police. Would I be wrong if I told you that you and your wife were into drug trafficking? What? This is crazy! Huh? How else can we explain the huge amount that was transferred to South Africa and the money she withdrew from her bank account a few days before her death? This is a wrong assumption. What are you saying? Let's assume that your wife was into shady deals and you knew not about it. How do you explain the presence of cocaine and the pistol? Which were in there when we come to your house after we found your wife's body? This year. Honestly. I don't know. I don't know. Huh? Mr. Collins says the work of time. Five days ago, Al Haji Nasir Ibrahim, a drug law enforcement bigwig, was murdered. I heard that on the news. That happened two weeks ago after he led a team of immigration officers, law drug enforcement agents, and the policemen to impound consignment of hard drugs. What has that got to do with me? Huh? The substance found in your house is from the same source as the drug he impounded. The bullet that killed the man came from the pistol found in your kitchen drawer.
I don't think it would be right for anyone to pin those charges on him. I have been working on this case for quite some time now. And I have seen enough of me to know that someone is actually blackmailing Mr. Collins. This case is complex. So we are taking our time to sort out all puzzling issues. He is going to remain in the detention until we are able to establish enough evidence to prove his innocence. I will file in all my findings on this case to the DPO. Collins' daughter was spotted at a children's party in company of a lady and she didn't appear like a hostage. Some days prior to that, Mr. Collins received two phone calls. The first caller said his dead wife might still be alive. The second caller said that he will be blackmailed if he does not stop the investigations on his missing daughter. I think the police will be doing a lot of good if they can look into these areas. We have heard about the phone call, but not a piece about the daughter. Yet, all they are hearsay. That is the more reason I say we should look into this. Since I intensified my investigations on this matter. Someone has been stalking me. Someone broke into my apartment, but nothing was missing. I think someone is just creating some diversions just to distract my attention. Besides, I think there must be another angle to this story about the mother of the drug lord officer. Are you suggesting that he could have been murdered for a reason other than the drugs he impounded? Yes. Let's look before we leave. You don't have enough evidence to pin anything on me. 
except the things you found in my house. Someone, anybody could have planted them. We found out that the NDLEA officer was helping drug traffickers to smuggle drugs into this country. So, it appears to us that he impounded those drugs from which, some of which we found in your house, because they could not reach a compromise. What has that got to do with me? He was killed for his action. I... Are you implying I killed him? <laughs> Come on, DCO. Why don't you go and evaluate my assets and find out if I have words I can't explain or money stashed away somewhere? If I was into drug trafficking, I would have things to show for that. Why would anyone kill your wife? and kidnap your daughter if you were not into some high-profile illegal business like drug trafficking. Why don't you find out the answer yourself? It's your job. The job you're meant to be doing for me. Huh? You have a foreign account with HSBC. Yes? How much do you have in it right now? About $10,000. 14 months ago, the account played host to 300,000 US dollars. How do you come about it? I sold some of my shares in two oil companies to buy properties in Monaco. I have documents to support that. I'll be talking to you later. For your information, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission is snooping around. This you. I think I need my lawyer. I'll talk about that later. Be strong, my good friend. Be strong. Okay. You see, I... I believe that everything that happens in life has a purpose, okay? Be strong. Honestly, Eric, I still don't understand why I should be entangled with something I absolutely know nothing about. Yeah, you see, I... Uh... I understand the way you feel, but you see, truth is a stubborn thing, okay, and no matter how much you try to bury it, someday it must sprout out and the innocent be vindicated, okay. Cheer up. Uh, meanwhile, I've, uh, I've secured your house. Thank you so much.
you to leave the country. Forget about your daughter and your late wife. If you do that, you won't stop me again. And for the police, you take good care of that. However, if you fail to leave the country in the next 24 hours, the entire police will be after you and we guys will track you down. You got that? Yes. Yes. Now listen up. These are your papers. You need to leave the country. Stay out. I remain out. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Do I make myself clear? Y yes. Have it now. Stay out of the car. Now.
What happened? How come you look like shit? Daddy? Yes. Call me Ben for now. Ben? Okay, okay. What happened? My wife is dead. And my daughter missing. Jesus Christ! I was framed up and arrested for alleged murder and drug trafficking. God. For one month, I have been in police custody. Awaiting conclusive investigations for crimes I did not commit. Earlier today, some strange man drove me out of town and warned me to leave the country. Exactly, do they want from you? I don't know. I don't know. But whatever it is has to do with my wife's death. What's your next move now? I don't know. to think. I need to think about. Well, Collins, you need it. And a clean shave too. Come on. It's going to be alright, okay? Study should be all over the media by now. If someone bribed the police to get you out of custody, you are not going to hear it on the news. I'm afraid. Maybe I'm being framed up again. Look, whoever sent you in there thought it was the right time to get you out. Why? Why? Collins, 
Let's look at it this way. Hmm? You're being in police custody. Must have been enough time for them to clean up whatever he or she thinks that you, we are going to find out. Now, bringing you out and sending you away might be the only way to set the helpless lamp who has borne its sins away. And then they will have time to clean up the last of what is left. They're wrong! They made a wrong move by letting me go. Adi, I don't intend to let this story die like this. I must get to the root of this. So, what are you going to do now? I am going to find the man that called that my wife might still be alive. But you don't want to be seen now. How do you intend to achieve this? I will lie low. Okay, what about the private detective that you hired? I don't want to bring him in on this. Okay? I will handle this alone. So, uh, any news for me for today? Well, I don't, with regards to what you're looking for. I got all this for you. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. So you insist that you're going to look for this guy who called you? Since they haven't come for me these three months, I want to believe that they think that I am out of the country. So, when will you be back? I'll be back before nine this evening. What if you don't come back? What should I do? Stay out of the picture. No. I'll come for you. You're joking. Look, man. Let's just hope that you come back. If not, I'll just jump into the tree. I'll return. I decided to stay longer. 
hoping that he would spot me. Man, that was risky now. Hmm? I mean, anybody could have attacked you from behind. Huh? Or even followed you to this place. I don't think so. I was very careful. God. Collins, I'm concerned about your safety. Ade. Yeah. I have no other choice. God. I have started it. I have to follow it through. I want you to be very careful. You know what you're up against. I do. Have you got any open on you? loaded but I must have to return it first thing tomorrow morning
Okay. It appears you're looking for something. I've been looking for you. Why do you want to see me? Because you want me to know something. I have told you already. I don't believe that my wife is still alive. I buried her myself. Then I can be of much help to you. If she is still alive, why is she feigning dead? And who has my daughter? I don't have time for details. Why? I am on the wrong. Someone wants me dead, for what I know. Go. See the book sign up at St. John's Catholic Church. Tell him your story. Where do I find you? Don't look for me, Mr. Collins. I will come looking for you. My lord, if you would help me, I would appreciate it. I'm in dire need for help. I know so much about what you just told me. But it is a confession made to me. I'm not meant to divulge it. It will be a breach of my priestly responsibility. My lord, I know. I know. But I need your help. I will send it to the man that made the confession. I've been persuading him to talk to you. But then we heard that you were arrested over some alleged crimes. I think those people that killed my wife set me up. Go to Heaven's Gate Mortuary on Moju Sholo's uh, street. Talk to the mortician there, Mr. Albert. He'll be glad to help you. Thank you, Musan. Thank you so much. May the Lord protect and guide you from all your enemies. I remain blessed in Jesus' name.
found him dead in his office. It appeared he was strangled. From his confessions, they have been hunting him for long. I think there is a lady that might help you. Do you have an email address? Yes. Let me have it. Okay. Um. I'll send you an email to tell you about what next to do. <sighs> I appreciate your sign. Remember, God bless you. I have to leave you. Be very careful. Have you forgotten that you're meant to be Ben? Have a look at us. Page three. Assassinated. The Monsino at St. John's Catholic Church. A KK Parish. God! When did this happen? According to the report. The nurse there said that they found the, the man dead in his own pool of blood. That was after they had had some cautions in his room last night. The only man willing to help me has been murdered. He was meant to pass information to you, right? Yes. Yes. Maybe they saw me leaving the parish yesterday. Or they must have found out from the mutician who has knew about the secret. Maybe a boat. What if he left you information? I doubt. I doubt it. Let's go check. Never could tell. You go check. If there's any information, print it out. I'll give you my email and password. Fine. I'll do that.
Yeah, Alex. Hmm? We've got mail. Yeah. Collins, go talk to the lady by the name Monica Ambrose on 17 Ademola Adetokumbo, Victoria Island. She will be willing to help you. I've spoken to her. She has an interesting piece of information for you. Monsaino Madweke. Bingo! I have to go immediately. Yeah. I want to come along. No. That wouldn't be a good idea. God. Both of us shouldn't be spotted together. Do you understand? Be careful. I will. Yes, ma'am. You can go. Before Andrew traveled abroad, he stayed for so long that before he could return, it was too late. Both of you were already married. He met me, we started dating. He told me all about his relationship with your late wife. He's rich, powerful, and well connected. But no one can really say for certain his his source of wealth. Some believe he's into drug trafficking. Wait. Did you say drug trafficking? Mm -hmm. Oh yes. I have every reason to believe that school of thought. <coughs> Someone planted cocaine and the gun that killed a drug law officer in my house and called the police on me. I was arrested and detained for one month. How did you come out? I was smuggled out of police custody, presumably by the same people that put me in there and was ordered to leave the country in 24 hours. I won't put that past Andrew. He has the money and the connection to do such. Why didn't you marry him? I was prying deep into his source of wealth. When he found out, Miss Church, all I was doing, and gave me the beating of my life, to the extent I was hospitalized for one month. And ever since then, we've not spoken to each other. I've been on the prowl, waiting for an opportunity to, to pay him back.
Do you know anything about my daughter? Daughter? No, not at all. I got a lead that my wife is still alive. What? Has it been confirmed? I think I know someone who will help us find the root to all these mysteries. May I have your number so I can call you, let you know if anything comes up? say you want to speak to Ben. me is what might have transpired between her and Andrew. From what the lady told you, he must have used her for rituals. Yes, think of it. There is no one that can give explanation of the source of wealth. I don't think so. He loved her. Come on, man, you can never know with these guys. He must have been up to something and pretended that he loved her. Hello. Okay, wait. Hello. Is this Colin? Yes, yes, this is Collins. Yes, this is Monica. Collins, I just called to let you know what I found out. Andrew is living with a woman by name Nora. She is 28 years old and has a daughter with her who is about 7 years old. Guess what, Collins? What? The girl is your daughter. I will need your wife's picture to find out if she's in Nora in question here. I, I will send her pictures. All right then. Okay. Thank you. Good night. All right. Thank you. Hadi? Yes? What is it? Talk to me now, talk to me. Hadi? My daughter is living with Andrew. What? I can't 
believe I'm seeing you, man. I can't. I mean, how how on earth did you survive all that? F A T E. Faith. The idiots who took me in there made a very big mistake by bringing me out. Now, I am this close to unraveling this mystery haunting my life. <laughs> well, that's, that's good news, man. I like that. I like that. So what about the, the police? Are they on it? Police? It appears someone paid some bad eggs on the police to keep quiet about my sudden disappearance while it's in this custody. And they have almost killed everyone. Everyone I turned to for help. It's a miracle I'm still breathing. Man, man, you, you are a survivor. You are really a survivor, man. That's what you are. Eric. I need your help. What's that? I need to get my wife's picture. I want you to go to my house. Make sure that you're not spotted. Creep in and get the picture. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it, okay? Just meet me here Tuesday night, same time, okay? Thank you. Fine, fine, no problems. No problems. Have you been waiting for long? No, no, I've been here for about uh, 
20 minutes. How did it go? Right now. Can you give her this? Okay. Tell her that Mr. Ben brought it. what I scooped up. Please try and show up tomorrow morning in my office, okay? All right. Okay. Take care of yourself. Good night. Good night. Good morning. You're welcome. Please sit down. I can't wait to hear the stuff you scooped up. <laughs> Your wife is not dead after all. What? She's living with Andrew. You mean? My wife is alive. I'm living with another man? Absolutely. Yes. The lady I told you living with Andrew. It's your wife. She just pretending to be someone else. Who did? 
then did I bury. Oh my God. Only God knows who is in that grave. What is she hiding? What is she running from? There is much we don't know. So, I've been living a lie. I've got a plan. Results.
supposed to get married. Then he had a problem with the government and he had to leave the country. I waited and waited for Andrew's return. And when it seemed he wasn't coming back, I got tired of waiting. 
Then you came along, proposed, and I accepted. Then something unexpected happened. Andrew showed up on the eve of our wedding night. You promised you would wait for me, but you went back on your promise. Tell me why you went back on your word. Tell me. I got tired of waiting. You failed to contact as often as you should. Two years, Andrew. For two years. You kept me in the middle of nowhere. With no information of your whereabouts. I didn't even have a clue of when you were coming. Or if you'll ever come back. I wasn't getting any younger. If you're just 21 and you're still young. You are still young. Tell me. Tell me, do you still love me? I love you. I love you too. I'm so sorry. It's okay. No. How I wish you had waited for me. But you're getting married tomorrow. And I can't stop you. No, 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 please. Please don't say that. Listen, we, we can't end like this. Andrew, I'll call off the wedding, I promise. I'll, I'll just tell him I don't want to get married anymore. No. Just go ahead and marry him. Okay? We'll still continue our love. I don't know who he is. And I wouldn't want to get in his way. I'm really sorry. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> that night, I conceived Erica. I hid the truth from you all these years. The truth that Erica is not your daughter. All my life with you, Collins, has been a nightmare. I wake up every night to see myself in your arms. Well, I was always longing to be in Andrew's arms. Then you traveled out, and it gave Andrew and I enough time to reconcile our passions. Honey, yes, love. now that he has traveled out, I wouldn't want to go back to him again. I want to spend the rest of my life and time in your arms. And tell me, how do you intend to do that? I don't know. And I don't care. All I want is to be with you forever. That's my girl. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> Who do we have here? Look at you. I'm ready for the baby party. You look beautiful. <laughs> okay, uh, what's his name, the driver? Uh, James. James. You know what? James is going to take you on the four wheel drive, okay? I can just go tell James. Not so fast. Mommy, mommy, okay. That wouldn't be possible. All the dead body we have here has been embalmed. If you want it foolproof, you have to do it the other way. Which is? We have done this by a number of rich people who are in danger. We made them appear dead for hours and sometimes for days with special chemicals. When their body arrives here, we switch with dead bodies and they walk away free with everybody believing they are dead. <laughs> Interesting. I was once a movie makeup artist. I can perform some tricks with dead bodies. 
I can make a dead boy look like your wife. <laughs> interesting. I'm interested. That will cost you some naira. How much is it? Let's begin with 80,000 naira. You know what? I want results. That you will get. Let the game begin. We played a number of games so that the police will have an explanation for my death. We also organized for your house to be bugged a number of times by Andrew's boys, who we also paid to make threats to my life, demanding for five million naira. <laughs> <laughs> As usual, I reported to the police and told them my life was in danger. They gave me a police escort. After which, we organized a mock ambush where I was assaulted and later abducted right in front of that police escort and also abducted. <laughs> <laughs> then, the body from the mortician showed up. <laughs> Earlier on, we had wired money to South Africa and also wired some to me so that we could mislead the police during their investigations. You know, our plans went out so well until six months later, there was a snag. <laughs> the silly mortician felt he wasn't well paid for his job and demanded for more money. Hello, Mr. Andrew. Uh, good evening. Andrew, there's a little issue I want to talk over the phone with you. And what could that be? I'm beginning to feel you didn't pay me well for the risky job I did for you, and you know that. Look, mister, I paid you what you asked for, okay? Well, you promised to pay me more, remember? Till now, I haven't seen you. Look, you can't talk like that. Okay, we had a close deal. Now tell me, what do you want me to do now? I want to be paid more. You don't mean that. Do you expect me to pay you more after we had a close deal and gone our separate ways? I want you to pay two million naira into my coffers and I won't bother you again. You are crazy. You are crazy and you are out of your senses. I'm paying no dime, no more. If you don't pay me before a week, I will tell Mr. Collins and the police everything I know. <laughs> Listen. A small boy. You can tell whoever, whatever, and take a ride to the ocean, then take a dive. Stupid. Look at this boy. You know, things got really bad between the mortician and us when we failed to pay him the money he demanded for. He told a very close friend of his, Mr. Sunny. He also called you up and told you that I might still be alive. Now that was when we knew he meant real business. 
so we moved to assassinate him. His friend simply disappeared because we couldn't trace him. Andrew and I didn't want to take chances, so we decided to get you out of the way by setting you up. But you know, after some time, I started feeling for you. Especially after you had spent a whole month in police custody. A waiting trial for a crime you didn't commit. So, I convinced Andrew to look for another alternative. What do you think about Collins? What do I think about Collins? Nothing. You know, I've been having dreams of him lately. What kind of dreams? Dreams of him crying and begging me to help him. <laughs> so what did you do? Did you help him? I couldn't. My love, I've been considering him lately. I mean, he's just, he's rotting in jail. I mean, can't we seek another alternative? You know what? The mortician and his friend are still on the prowl. If Colin gets out of detention, gonna spell a lot of trouble for us. I could fly him out of the country. Don't forget I was married to this man for about seven years. He was nice to me. He never ever helped me. Please, let's look for an alternative. I mean, we could, we could smuggle him out of the country. Please. Andrew to smuggle you out of police custody and we thought you had left the country however the search for the mortician and his friend continued then he made a very silly mistake of going back to his office then our boys struck. Mm. 
now I'm telling you. Who else knows about this? Nobody knows. Tell me the truth. Because the truth will set you free. Who else? Nobody knows. Nobody knows! Nobody knows. They don't want to tell me, okay? Stand up. Information that the mom signed on you, everything about our past. Andrew and I decided to knock him out. Leaving no trace of anybody or anything who knew whatever about our past. Except, of course, for that mysterious son. Who killed the drug law officer? Oh, that. He had a deal with Andrew to allow Andrew's drugs in. He agreed at first and later started asking for a larger part of the business. Andrew refused and when Andrew failed to give him his own share of the business, he impounded the consignment. So the best way to pay him back, Andrew's boys murdered him and made it seem like you did. Your mind is dark. Oh. Both of you! Oh, no, 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 Collins. Collins, you know, love is a very crazy thing. Hold it there! Don't move!
smart. You paid me to do this job. The job is done. The police. Never mind about the police. They are with me. Where they are, what happened? Get some people where they are, they carry gun, they go lock me down. Where are they now? Go inside the house. It's over. So let's move. Move it. under control now. It was quite a messy scene here, but I uh, will play it down. You all think that was my end, eh? Ah. Hey! Ah. Stop it! Ah. We're hearing you loud and clear. Over. Guys, be at alert. Man, for three days now, or for some time, we have been running helter scatter. And our source has gone into six feet down. Look at this. What do we do? What? Look at this. Man, this job has worked a minute. They should allow us to rest, but let's see. Man. Back out from the road. Man. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down for your car. No, now no. we they look for now. Friend, calm down. We are looking for us. Oh, See boy. us. No option. Let's go. See us. We'll See what is the matter with you? Huh? Yeah. Touch yeah. yourself. Touch yeah. yourself. Yeah. What is the matter with you people? Touch yourself. Touch yourself. Boy,